Adventures with Lolly and Sweets, Zoo Episode. Hi, Lolly and Sweets. Hi. It's so great to see you guys today. Are you guys ready for a new fun adventure? Yeah. yeah. Well, get ready, because today we're going to the zoo. Yeah. Woo! Okay, ready, let's go. Wow, Lolly and Sweets and boys and girls, I am so excited because we are at the LA Zoo today. There are so many amazing and cool animals to see here, so I can't wait to get inside. Okay, now let's look at this map so we know where all the animals are located. It'll make our trip around this zoo a lot easier. Hmm, first let's start with the sea lions. What a graceful swimmer. This sea lion is so big. And look, it's feeding time. Now seals, sea lions, and walruses are all part of the pinniped family, meaning fin-footed in Latin. Now lolly sweets and boys and girls, sea lions are very, very intelligent, and they can be trained to perform various tasks and tricks and display limited fear of humans once they are familiar with them. Now like humans, food makes animals happy, so these sea lions will do just about anything for a tasty fish treat or clam. All you have to do is use the whistle and give them positive reinforcement and training them can be pretty easy. Now believe it or not, these guys eat about 35 to 40 pounds of fish a day. That's a lot of fish. Whoa, did you see that catch? Great job, sea lion. Now here we have the meerkat, and as you can see, he's standing straight up. They try to get as high as possible to look out for any predators that might be nearby. Now meerkats are part of the mongoose family, and they live in the desert. Now there's very few animals that work together as well as the meerkats. They live underground in burrows that they dig together to keep safe from predators. And they are extremely social and can live in clans of three to 50 meerkats. Now each morning they go out as the sun comes out to find food or sunbathe and groom as you can see here. Lolly Sweets and boys and girls, it's the chimpanzees. Now, contrary to popular belief, chimps are not monkeys. They belong to the great ape family, along with the gorillas. They have long arms and short legs and do not have tails. Now, believe it or not, they share 98.5% DNA with us humans, making them our closest relative. We act the same too. They like to hug, play, and laugh just like us. They are super social and live in large communities and groups. And in the wild, they build their sleeping nests in trees and can jump and leap over 10 meters from tree to tree. That's really far. Now, speaking of gorillas, here we have the Western Lowland Gorillas. And it looks like we caught them at their feeding time. Now, here at the LA Zoo, they put different leafy greens and fruits in different places so that they can forage for food just as they do in the wild. Now, gorillas are herbivores, meaning they eat mostly plants, vegetables, and fruits. And an adult male will eat about 50 pounds of food a day. Hey, that's a lot of lettuce. Now a male gorilla will grow almost as tall as us humans, actually bigger than some of us. Males grow up to five and a half feet tall and weigh about 400 pounds. Females tend to be smaller in size. Gorillas are the largest and most powerful of the great ape family. As you can see, the larger gorilla has a silver streak on his back, and that makes him a silver back male. And they develop their silver hair on his back at around 10 to 12 years of age. That's when he becomes mature and really strong. Now, gorillas are really similar to us as well because they have hands and feet like humans, including thumbs and big toes. And they have really long arms. They're actually longer than their legs, and they use their long arms to knuckle walk. 
Now, a silverback male will lead his band containing of several females, babies, and juveniles. And with these groups, gorillas are usually quite calm. However, rival males can display aggressively when a band meets, and they express this agitation and excitement by beating on their chests. Gorillas are highly intelligent and can learn sign language when in captivity. They are also known to use tools. They have been observed in the wild using rocks and sticks as basic tools to accomplish small goals. Now that's smart. Now here we have the flamingos, which they are so easy to recognize because of their pink feathers. Adult flamingos are about four to five feet tall, but they only weigh four to eight pounds. It's super surprising, but I guess you have to be light to fly. Yep, these birds fly. They actually travel over 300 miles to reach new habitats when they migrate. They get their beautiful pink color from eating crustaceans, which means shellfish, and they also eat plankton. Now they look pink all over, but under their wings, they have black feathers, which you can see when they extend their wings or when they fly. Not only are they beautiful to look at, but they are great dancers too. They have ritual dance that look as though they are dancing the flamingo flamenco. You know what else is really cool about flamingo? They rest or sleep while standing on one leg. Yes, you heard me. They sleep while standing straight up, balancing on one leg. Now flamingos will only lay one egg a year and both the mom and dad will care for the egg and once the baby chick has hatched, they both co-care for the chick as well. Flamingos only lay one egg a year and both mom and dad will help care for the egg and baby chick once a it has hatched. These guys are super social and they flock together in groups of up to several hundred to even sometimes a million birds. Now that's social. Oh, Lolly Sweets and Boys and Girls, I am super excited because here we have the elephant. The elephants are my favorite animals. They are the largest animals on land. Now, these are Asian elephants, and we know that because African elephants have larger ears in the shape of Africa, and Asian elephants have smaller ears in the shape of Asia. That is just super cool, right? These Asian elephants can weigh up to 12,000 pounds and they eat for about 18 hours a day. Nearly 80% of an elephant's day is spent eating. They eat plants and fruits, tree bark and roots. As you can see here, the zoo trainers are using food to get the elephants to cooperate while they do their daily checkup. They check their feet, their mouth, their teeth, and their body all around just to make sure that everything is okay. Now the coolest thing about an elephant is their trunk. It's so interesting because it contains 40,000 different muscles. The human body only has 69. Their trunks have so many muscles because they use their trunks to do so many different tasks like breathe, drink, eat, smell, and communicate. But not only that, it is also used as a hand per se because they use it to touch, feel, hold, grab, and pull things. I mean, just how cute are these elephants with this ball? It's just so adorable. So elephants are the largest, but giraffes are the tallest animals on earth. Giraffes can reach up to 20 feet tall. And as you can see here at the LA Zoo, one of the giraffes just had a baby not too long ago. So adorable. A giraffe calf or baby can stand up and walk after about an hour after it has been born. And giraffe spots are much like a human fingerprint. No two have the exact pattern. Now, despite of their very long necks, they have only seven vertebrae in their neck, just like us humans, which makes it really hard for them to bend down and reach the ground. If you've ever seen them try to get water in a stream or lake, they look quite awkward as they have to extend their legs out to try to reach the ground. 
But no worries, just like their very long necks, they have exceptionally long tongues, usually measuring up to 20 inches, which they use for grabbing and pulling leaves and shoots into their mouth. Look, Lolly and Sweets and Boys and Girls, it's a hippo! Now, even though hippos spend most of their lives in the water, they can't float or swim. And even though a lot of people think the hippo is just so adorable, they are considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, especially if you get close to their water habitat. Now, even though hippos are huge animals and can weigh up to 4,000 pounds and their teeth grow to almost two feet, they mainly eat plants and only rarely will they eat meat. Look guys, here we have a female lion having her lunch. It looks like she's eating some kind of large bone with meat on it. Now we know it's a female because she doesn't have her mane. You know, her hair, that large hair around her head as the male does. The females are called lioness. Lions are the second largest in the big cat species in the world behind tigers. Male lions can usually weigh up to 400 pounds and females up to 200 pounds. Now a lion's roar can be heard up to five miles away and can reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. That's really fast, guys. And lions usually will rest up to 20 hours a day, saving up their stamina for hunting. Lions are very social animals compared to other cat species, often living in prides with females, offspring, and a few adult males as well. Now usually at the zoo, we usually see animals from a distance, but here at the LA Zoo, they do have some up close creature encounters where you can come eye to eye with the zoo's smallest residents, like this snake here. As you can see, this snake here is really used to being handled. It's great because it gives us a chance to touch the snake and feel its smooth, cool, and dry skin or scales. It's especially smooth on their underbelly. Now the only time they feel rough is when they shed their skin and they do this as they grow. The more they eat, the faster they grow. Look, they have a hedgehog that we can also get a close look at. Now, hedgehogs are just adorable, but even though they are adorable, you have to really handle them with care. As you can see, they have pointy, sharp quills all over their back, and they are controlled by a series of muscles. So when a hedgehog feels threatened, the quills are raised. They sure are adorable. Whoa, we even got to touch a blue tongue skink lizard. Now these guys have a deep blue berry colored tongue. They display their tongue to frighten off predators. Now these guys love to eat snails. Some people like to keep them in their home gardens to help control the snail population. Now just like a snake, their skin is very smooth and they also shed when growing. They are very shy and slow compared to other lizards because of their short legs. Look, Lion Sweets and Boys and Girls, here we have the Siamang. Now these are part of the lesser ape family, meaning smaller apes. Now these guys are known as the king and queens of swinging. They have slender bodies and lightweight bones that make for some serious swinging. The Siamang hands and feet are a lot like ours, but instead they have much longer fingers and they also have opposable big toes on their feet meaning they can grab things with both their hands and their feet. They are very acrobatic animals because of their extra long arms. It helps them cover up to 10 feet in a single swing. Now they are very vocal animals and vocalization plays a major role in their social environment. Siamangs have a grayish or pinkish throat sac, which it inflates during vocalization. This throat sac can become as large as a grapefruit fruit and they use it to make social or important calls. They are very territorial and defend their territory with a daily singing ritual as you can see here. Now Lolly Sweets and Boys and Girls, one of my favorite parts about being here at the zoo is that you can get up close and personal with the goats at Muriel's Ranch.
village. Now these goats are Nigerian dwarf goats and they even have brushes available for us to groom them. These guys are colorful and curious goats and are super kid friendly. This is definitely the place to come and relax for a bit and do some bonding with these fun domestic animals. Ah, oh, look, they even have pot belly pigs. Now believe it or not, these pigs are considerably smaller than the standard farm pig breed. They are mainly black, but sometimes have black and white markings as well. Now believe it or not, potbelly pigs make great pets if you have the space for them, of course. But they have the personality of a two-year-old. They are intelligent, curious, mischievous, and sometimes really manipulative. They are sensitive creatures that can be quite playful when they are not looking for food. Look guys, here we have the awesome and super charismatic otter. Now otters are really clever and quite playful. And these otters are having a yummy fish treat as you can see, which is what they primarily eat. So they will also eat whatever is easiest to find in the wild, including birds, shellfish, or rodents and frogs. These guys will eat about 25% of their body weight a day. Now the cutest fact about otters is that they hold hands, which they do to keep from floating away from each other. How adorable is that? I want to hold hands with an otter. Now baby otters are called pups, though some call them kittens. There are about 13 different species of otters around the world. Otters have powerful and somewhat flat tails, perfect for propelling themselves through the water. And they have webbing between their toes. They can also close their nostrils and ears to keep water out and can hold their breath for up to three to four minutes at a time. They can swim up to speeds of 6.8 miles per hour. But believe it or not, when they're born, they do not know how to swim. Their mom has to teach them. How cute is that? Now, Lolly Sweets and boys and girls, we finally found them. Here is the tiger. Now, the tiger is the largest cat species in the world and third largest carnivore, meaning meat eater. The only larger carnivores are polar bears and brown bears. Tigers can weigh up to 660 pounds and adult tigers will usually live alone in the wild. Now unlike other cats, tigers are great swimmers and tend to really like the water. Though this tiger seems a little unsure about jumping into the water just yet. When tigers are born, they are blind and they only open their eyes after one to two weeks after they are born. And they stay with their mom until they are about 18 months old. Wow, here we have the zebra. Now, even though zebras are part of the same family as horses, the equity family, they are a different species than horses. They are wild and cannot be domesticated. It's like the difference between a wolf and a poodle. And just like the giraffe, zebra stripes are like a fingerprint. No two are alike. Now, a really cool fact about the zebra is that they are one of the few animals that can see in color, except the color orange. And a group of zebras is called a dazzle. They are pretty dazzling with their stripes. Okay, Lolly Sweets and boys and girls, after a really long, fun day at the zoo, I thought it'd be fun to finish off our day here at their beautiful wooden carousel. Look, it's got all kinds of different beautiful wildlife choices for us to ride on. This has to be the coolest carousel I've ever seen. And what a great day it was here at the zoo. Welcome back, Lolly Sweets. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.